helicopter into Earthistan. What's an X for Sphinx? Well, uh, he sinks into his bed and has the deepest sleep of his lifetime to recover from everything. Uh, well, after a few hours, he feels recharged and after the profound nap, so he wanders over to the hammam uh, and enjoys a leisurely, steamy, Mm. bath, deep soak in the uh, neighborhood communal bathhouse. Yeah, and, uh, well, deeply cleaned, emotionally, physically. Wanders back to the Orthostyle World Headquarters, and, uh, well, by now, the, uh, Early evening buses have arrived uh, while he was in the bathhouse from Harad. And, oh, from his upstairs balcony, three beloveds, comrades, spiritual warriors greet him. Pasha, <laughs> Earthman, <laughs> Cleopatra. Yeah, what a boisterous, joyful reunion, yeah. His friends have just traveled 350 miles, coming from uh, the hands and knees room of the Queen to the Arch Mudway upstairs. Last room on the right, facing the Mud Street. Yeah, they've come from there. They had a wonderful, insightful uh, breakthrough night with the Queen. And they have a romantic message from her for her Sphinx. Yeah. Um, they've taken rooms on either side of the Earthistan World Headquarters. And uh, although this uh, room of the Brotherhood of Shamans, it's got a fancy name, uh, but it's uh, uncomplicated. It uh, has no electricity, no running water, uh, but spacious. So 14 by 14, high ceiling, and a balcony overlooking the Trail of Vashishan. Yeah. Well, everyone hangs out on the floor. They've got reed mats down, and in certain spots where someone might sit, they throw a little Afghani carpet over the reed mats. Uh, and so everybody kind of sets up a little, a little scene for themselves on the floor. And, uh, well, gosh, they congratulate Sphinx. Ah. Breathtaking uh, journey to uh, get Omar's body and, well, remaining relics to his family burial plot in bulk. Yeah, uh, well, Sphinx, uh, <laughs> graciously. It's our combined effort of dedicated crew that made this extraordinary journey possible. So, uh, Thank you. Uh, well, Sphinx, uh, oh, unchained at last from his merciless enslavement to his demon ego. Oh, he's free to reign silent about his sweep and weep yoga. Whatever happened to that Amber Chilla? Uh, oh, uh, you know, his initiation into the mystery of the Molding Hashish, yeah. <laughs> so he can relax. Hmm. <sighs> And be genuinely curious about the people around him for a change. Yeah, yeah. Well, Pasha, what's up, huh? Oh, Pasha, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, ASAP, uh, yeah, headed for India to find his guru. Well, what else is new? Uh, Cleo, uh, uh, Earthman, uh, what's up? Uh, well, they're ecstatic. 
to be physically just to get their bodies to Afghanistan because that was their only and original mission from the get go. From Ralas, Elas, Dodekadisos. Yeah, that one night, uh, we're going to Afghanistan. <laughs> A vision, uh, got to do it right now. And, you know, they walked out of town about two in the morning and started their trip. So, yeah, and oh, Cleopatra, she's a gorgeous Greek island, a rescue daughter, Retsina, and Cleo's just pining away. She's got to get back to her precious companion. Oh, uh, well, Earthman, he's a seasoned hashish trail freak. He's come and gone a few times across the hashish trail in both directions, but now, uh, his exploration is not geographical. It's the heart of Cleopatra. But he's going to explore that more and more. Y'all. So look, um, you know, our Cleo tells Sphinx, look, um, yeah, we're going to, you know, dust ourselves off, you know, <laughs> go over to the Hamam and clean up and, uh, <sighs> Rest. I mean, it's been a two-week hatch from Rose to here. Who, ha, huh, and then shh, straight back. Mm -hmm. I've got a beautiful, rented, uh, ancient Kalivi, a small house, and uh, they have you know pebble floors. So these are like thousands of year old floors and uh, beautiful flowers, lemon tree in my courtyard. Earthman speaks Greek. I speak Greek. I mean, imagine how easy and fun that life is. I, you know, paint little little smooth pebbles, make rings out of them, sell some to tourists. Earthman does laundry for expatriate artists, and uh, yeah, we're. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to Greece. Yeah. Well, uh, Sphinx. Oh. He becomes one with the spirit of Pasha, and he becomes one with the spirits of Earthman and Cleo. So uh, he reflects from this inner awareness by identity, not by reflection bouncing off some exterior image. Um, yeah, Earthman, Cleo. You 100% fulfilled your mission. Congratulations. Uh, you're safely in Kandahar. Well, did you ever help me out on the way? Uh, yeah, you're more wise and planetary, seasoned Earth person. Uh, but. I invite you to blow past your original goal. To selflessly serve Earth, the Stan World Headquarters, uh, say for, for a cycle of the moon, for a month, so that you can make life easier for this uh, ragtag uh, children's crusade. Uh, passing back and forth right under <laughs> our balcony, uh, they could use help. They could, you know, well, hmm.